All right, here I want to show you how you can construct the surface development of a truncated cylinder. A truncated cylinder is a cylinder that is cut at a particular part. So the remaining part is known as frustum. Now, so this is the cylinder. If you have watched the first video that, that, that I made, you will have understood what we are doing and what we want to do here or what I have done here already. So this is the top view or the plan of a cylindrical object which is in form of a circle or which is a circle. Then I divided this circle into 12 equal parts as we did in the first video on the surface development of a complete cylinder. Then this is the front elevation and if you can see that there is a line, this is the line, we call this line, we call it a cutting plane. So it's cut part of the cylinder off and what we have left is from here to here and to here. That's what we have as, uh, as the remaining part of the cylinder or the front elevation. So, and I've numbered this circle as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I divided it into 12 equal parts. And also, I've projected vertical lines from each of these points. A vertical line from here gives us this line. A vertical line from this point 2 and 12 gives us this line. A vertical line from 3 and 11 gives us this line. A vertical line from 4 and 10 gives us this line. A vertical line from 5 and 9 gives us this line. A vertical line from 6 and 8 gives us this line. And a vertical line from 7 gives us this line. Alright? Now, the next thing that we, we are going to do here is that... Um, from this base, from the base here, draw a horizontal line as we did in the previous surface development of a complete cylinder. Then we also draw a vertical line. Um, okay, this may not be compulsory. Let me leave that. Then from each of these points, where this cutting plane meets the vertical line, you can see the point here. So draw horizontal lines. Draw horizontal line from each point. So as we have here, this goes like this. And so from this point, draw a horizontal line. From this point, draw a horizontal line. From this point, draw a horizontal line. From this point here, draw a horizontal line. And from this point, draw a horizontal line. And from this point, draw a horizontal line. So this is it. Alright, so after drawing this horizontal line, the next thing that you need to do is that Come to move away from the elevation and draw a vertical line here. So draw a vertical line. What we are doing here is that we want to open this cylinder, this truncated cylinder, we want to open it from this point one. We are opening it here and we spread it. So that's what we want to do here. We are opening it at this point and we spread it. So I will call this point, I will call it point one. Then we calculate the circumference of the circle of the base circle of the of the base of the cylinder. So I constructed the circle with a radius of 30 millimeters, sorry, 25 millimeters, and the diameter is 50 millimeters. So 50 times 3.142 for the circumference, that gives us 157 millimeters. So take a measurement of 157. I think this have understood this based on what we did on the first video on surface development so this is 157 so this 157 we are going to divide into seven equal parts and this will also be point one which is the other side so we are going to divide this 157 into 12 equal parts as we have divided this circle into 12 equal parts we divided we are going to divide this 157 into 12 equal parts so I pause the video, do it, and come back after I've done that. All right. So I have divided one fifty seven, the line into twelve equal parts, and I have numbered 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Back to 1 because we are opening from this point 1. So we have 1 on the, le on the left and we have 1 on the right at the base of the, uh, of the cylinder. So the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to draw vertical lines at each point. So I will draw the vertical lines and come back to show, show you how we are going to get the so the development of this truncated cylinder all right so i've drawn the vertical lines i've drawn the vertical lines so the next thing is for us to locate the point of intersection of the horizontal lines and the vertical lines what i mean is so this is the point where the cutting plane meets line one this line one this where it meets this is the point so what i need to do is to Follow this horizontal line that I've drawn, and this is horizontal line one, and this is vertical line one. They intersect at this point, so I'll put the dots at this point. Then we have horizontal line two. We also have one here, so I'll be doing it at the same time. This is also one, so take note of that. Then horizontal line two. So this line two, con this line contains two and twelve, two and twelve. So if you go up like this, so this is the point. So the cutting plane touch it at this point. So you follow this horizontal line. So and you take go up on the vertical line too. So they intersect at this point. And then don't forget that we also have 12 at that point. So they intersect here. Then for 3, 3 and 11. So we go up. This is horizontal line 3 and 11. So and then you go like this. So vertical line 3 and horizontal line 3, they intersect here. And then for 11, they intersect here. They intersect at this point. Then we have 4 and 10. So we go like this. So vertical line 4 and horizontal line 4, they intersect here. And then for 10, so we just move here. So we have this point. Then this is this contains five and nine so go up so horizontal line five and vertical line five they intersect at this point and for nine they intersect here then the next is we have six and eight so horizontal line six and eight so six and eight six they intersect here and eight they intersect here so the last one is 7. So we go up and we go like this. So horizontal line 7, vertical line 7, intersect here. So this point will be joined together with the use of a French cup. So which I'm going to do now. So this is it. So it goes like this. So I believe you know how to use your... How to use the French cuff. Okay, so we're almost done. Um, so we should be able to take this three together. Okay, so I've joined all the points together with the use of 
the French curve. So the next thing is I need to make this is the base. So it will be a thick line. So this is it. And this side will also be a thick line. And also this side will be a thick line. So thank you for listening. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed. Share this video with friends who are technical drawing or engineering drawing students. So this is how you can produce the surface development of a truncated cylinder. Thank you for listening. God bless you.